came out of the high tech arena for most of my career. I was in high tech as a sales and marketing exec. In fact, Lydia knows that I was at Microsoft for eight of those last years in the industry. Um, so looking at it from that perspective and now looking at it from the philanthropic standpoint where I'm focusing on all of these providers of these skills and capabilities, I'm very optimistic. Um, I think one of the things that we need to continue to do is to enlighten the individuals in terms of what the possibilities are. Uh, there are probably 20, well, people are talking about the number actually declining a little bit with regard to traditional higher education enrollments. And, and Tom, I know you're very close to that. It's not something that I think is afflicting your institution, but many of the small privates are seeing this as an issue. Um, th that putting that to a side, there are how many tens of millions of individuals that may not pursue the higher education route or pursued it a little bit, but now because of whatever family situation or personal situation may not be able to conclude that path. What do we do there? Well, what has excited me over the last few years is that uh, the, the nonprofits, the alternative education providers, the DeVries, even, even the traditional higher education institutions that are deciding to become a little more innovative are recognizing that there's extreme up, there's a great opportunity with the non-traditional student. A good example of this uh, is an entity we work closely with called the Skill Up Coalition. It's a nonprofit. It started just a few years ago during the height of the pandemic when so many people were losing their jobs. And it was formed to basically help people find a path, find those necessary skills, hence the name Skill Up, find those, those ways to get the capabilities they needed to find a new position and go forward in their path to self-actualization, whatever that might be. Skill Up Coalition started two years ago. It's had an impact on over a million people already. And think of them as an aggregator. They aggregate all types of provisioning from, from suppliers, from the DeVries to community colleges to the nonprofit boot camps, what have you. Those entities that are capable of providing the training are there ready and willing to help these individuals. And by the way, there's no cost. These individuals are finding these, in fact, in some instances, they're getting small stipends to cover daycare, to cover travel, what have you. Hmm. Those are the types of solutions that I think you're starting to see now that will help scale this. But I go back to one of the things I see, the, the biggest issue I see here is I don't think the learners, the, the, the individuals out there recognize the potential that there is for taking the path in the cyber cybersecurity realm. Um, and, and I think it's just a matter of building the awareness and demonstrating there's great opportunity. And I'll finish with this by stating that I think many believe that, oh, I've got to go to get a four year degree or get a master's and what have you. Yeah, that's a possibility in terms of how far you want to go in your career. But to get a good start in a high paying job, um, it's a matter of getting the right certificates. And a good example of this, we work closely with a lot of the major employers like Walmart. Walmart recognizes that in the future, automation is probably going to replace a lot of the cashiers and a lot of the needs for their associates. So one of the things they're creating now is an internal boot camp working with providers saying that as a benefit, and if you if you have the right, you know, if there's a small assessment here, but basically they're saying we have a major gap with regard to cyber. And so we're going to train as many as of the associates as we can to basically find an adjacent pathway within the organization. And so I think you're going to see a lot more discussion around adjacent skills. Hey, I might have come in as an as as a cashier, but look at me now. I'm, I'm doubled my income and I'm, I'm a software developer, maybe specifically working in some field in the cyber arena. So I think those are great things that we're starting to see. A lot more has to be done. Mm -hmm.